football. Jelly Bean Gordinas at Slot Mart where America shops. Jelly Bean Gordinas tonight. Hello! Kev Matt's here. Chai Guy is here tonight. Chai Guy, the owner of the San Antonio Gordinas. His team, the Dark the dark Horse, the delicious bean souffle of the league. Good everywhere except live games. The, the, the meat strudel of this game. The, uh, the hot pocket. The habanera empanada. Does well on stream games, shits the bed elsewhere. Smooth as Taco Bell whiskey. Anyways, we're here tonight for a double hitter of week 11 of the Extreme Indoor League of Football as things kicked off last week with the second half of the season in some wild and stupid games, including a kicker that kicked six field, goal, uh, six field goals in a single game for a new uh, Hope High School record, <laughs> uh, Polk High record, I should say. <laughs> uh, and also, Fuckery was abound. And if you want to uh, actually have Jelly Bean Gordita, hey, for the love of God, use NerdVPN. Yes, NerdVPN is what I now use to look at certain sites on the internet that want my actual physical ID to verify me. That's sad. (sighs) And if you want to fuck me about, lonely fans. And where there's a Will, there's a Carlton. And where there's a Carlton, there's a Will Smith. You tell him. (laughs) Anywho, let's get on to our games tonight. We got a double header for you. Starting things off, the Boston Jelly Beans are at four and five, and they are looking they're kind of at the midway point. Their season could go either direction. Still plenty of football remains to be played, as we commonly say. The San Antonio Gorditas are tops in their division at six and three, looking to expand their league and their seeding as we get ready for the playoffs starting oh my god. The early part of ne- uh, the late part of next month coming up. Oh my god. <laughs> Boston Jelly Beans versus San Antonio Gordinas will be the opener. Game number two of our doubleheader tonight, we will be seeing. The Alaska Pipeline are also in the same boat. They're at four and five. Their direction could go anywhere, either towards contention or maybe have a chance of late run at the playoffs. They are taking on the six and three Kingston Punishers. Again, a quietly destructive team is Kingston. We'll see how these uh, playing games play out here tonight. It's, it's, the quiet, it's the featuring of the quiet teams. That are kind of keeping a low profile in the second half of the season, but we'll see how things go later on in the season for this month and also uh, the run to the playoffs coming up next month. Um, our remaining games simulating in between games one and two tonight, we'll be seeing the Kansas City Mahomies taking on the Winchester 73s. Kansas City is at three and six. Winchester sitting at five and four. Kansas City has been struggling as of uh, late. Uh, the Augusta Duffers coming off their loss last week at 4-5. and five. They're taking on the Flint Stones. The Flint Super Weapon may not be charging up as they are in contention right now for the Tank Bowl. The, in a rematch from the division uh, from the conference finals last year, the Dinosaur Fall... Uh, or actually, a, no, a rematch from last year's championship game. Spence fan with the sub slap. And hey, we're over a year, 13 months to go. Th- 13 months into it. Thank you, Pens, for the year. Continued subscription. From viewers like you, but uh, but dinosaur fossils at five and four taking on the top. I'm uh, taking on reading rainbows at six and three. Readings top in their division. Both these two teams played last week. Uh, the Hope Peak are at six and three. They're taking on the Saskatoon Sparkle Farts at four and five. Uh, the Mung Young Mungie at four and five are taking on the Lafayette Subjaculators in contention. Uh, the Burbank Buzzchins at six and three are taking on the Ottawa All Caps at three and six. Ottawa is another team that's in contention right now. Uh, the Madison Wolfpack at five and four are taking on the Fighting Polygon team at four and five. The Pittsburgh By God Salad Fries at seven and two are facing the South Park Bill Hills at three and six. South Park in contention. Pittsburgh tops in their division. And those are the games we got here. Undefeated Dead Horse is on a bye this week. Yes, the matchup of Star Lineman. Star Lineman. If he is not in your draft, if he is not in your draft, dumb draft pool, then shame on you. All right, we bet it on the horses last time, so we're gonna clear clear the slate for the horses. Game number one: Boston versus San Antonio. Bet on your points. Bet responsibly. Get points. Put cool stuff with it. 
Uh, Jelly Beans versus Saint uh, Gorditas. Funny enough, it was taco night at the cave household. It was delicious. I'm probably gonna shit my guts later, but hey, it was it's fun for right now, I guess. <laughs> Jelly Beans versus Gordita, 60 seconds up on the clock to get your points in. Taking a look at the stats, which mean absolutely nothing. Boston with a zero turnover differential, sitting comfortably in the middle of the league. Second overall in pass defense. Uh, total defense overall ranking fourth. But again, those numbers may be highly flawed. Uh, San Antonio is on a two-game winning streak. Boston coming off of a last last week. Football and shitting your guts out. A glorious pairing. Sitting comfortably mid. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Move that stuff back out of the way. Is there... Is there as the betting window is closing very, very quickly, someone I believe just dropped a whole buttload of points on San Antonio. <laughs> it's football. Shit. Wizard E. Herbert is injured. And the the time is up. So we're gonna get into our first game. It will see the Boston Jelly Beans, four and five. The six and three San Antonio Gordillas. We're hoping for a very comfy and cozy night of football. This game is next. Chris Sanders, Austin Wranglers, but it's a stealth bomber. This so makes that's a current. <laughs> that's that's a boomerang. That's just an accent mark on a Taco Bell wall. Someone dropped some actual bones on San Antone. Welcome to today's game. Apparently, a lot of people dropped bones on San Antonio. They're dropping more bones than a bad cadaver collector. You have Boomer on the soundboard? I do not. Here comes the Boston Jelly Beans. We're not sure if it's bubblegum or coral flavored. Might be salmon flavored. You could get bean boozled tonight. Was this Martyrs? Uh, what, hello, God bless that. I'm, who did that? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Load! Shakes fist at the sky. Fuck you, Baltimore. And here comes the San Antonio Gordita's the black and uh, silver. Pairs well with an Admiral Robinson. The Admiral Robinson is a giant fish taco instead of a blanket. Oh, yeah, both of these at Boston's two games back. So this would be a very interesting happening if Boston were to win this game. By virtue of who got bean boozled. It was Boston that picked out the toothpaste flavored jelly bean, and they will get the ball to start it off first. Parker will be kicking this one away. Cheers, love, the football's here. Kick is away, we're on the way tonight. Delayed Taco Bell, he's gonna run it! He's got some room! Shoved! And a beautiful start for the Boston Jelly Beans as they take up three quarters of the field before the, the quarterback even touched the ball. Number 83, my favorite, Martin. Look at that. Great attempt by Parker on the tackle. Let's take a look at that effort. Yeah! <laughs> Saw he was coming, was held up there. Broke free enough to break it up and stop the touchdown. Boston will be okay, starting. They'll take over at the 16 yard line. Boston will be starting at the 16 yard line. On a screen, catch, and his own momentum takes him into the table. It's a first and goal. Ken makes the reception. 11 yard gain on the play. San Antonio's game is already going Taco Belly up. Table. Ball at the five yard line, short yardage situation. Big boy. And that's the local church choir coming in for the one yard gain. We damn boys says, let's go. We damn boys. We didn't both do the big and see all the way there. Also at the four yard line. Quarterback sneak got a little bit. A little bit. The ball carrier 
one yard game. Boston going with the strawberry smoothie. Third and goal. Ball on the three yard line. It ain't no smoothie King Center. Boston on a third and goal. Run play. Off the draw. Hits them low. It's a it's a little bit of a gain. On the run. No Your offense is still fresh. It wouldn't hurt to go for it. But what do I know? Let's just kick the field goal and make it easy. That's like three points. Three po should be an easy kick here. Arden comes in for the kick. Not yet. Taco Bell's cannon in. No good! <laughs> kick is no good! Now, that we... <laughs> Okay, San Antonio takes it out of the end zone, and they're going to good start at about the eight-yard line. Let's take a look at that beautiful shit fucky play. What? What? I didn't. Even, did I? Do I even have that? Apparently, it's one of your random ones, I guess. The ball was at the nine yard line. <laughs> ball gets tripped up, kicked around, and it's a mad scramble. Mine, 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 mine. That is Joe May. Joe May not as he gets shoestring tackled by the quarterback. Shelton gets <laughs> with the chop block low. All legal. Joe May what? Ball at the five and a half yard line for San Antonio. The throw. Hit as he throws. Handed ball going forward. Incomplete. I'm telling you, this is going to be a very calm night of football. To a second and ten. Receiver in motion to the left side. Throws, overthrown, incomplete. Also with my soundboards, can I bring resident sound purchase as long as I stayed muted? My answer is no. We saw what happened last week. We don't want to repeat. No. Gonna throw. Pump fakes throws deep. Catch and a first down in coverage. Great throw and a catch in coverage. Laying it in there. To be fair, last week was chaos. Yes, that's why the room is now shortened down to five seats instead of ten. There's reasons for this. The throw. Overthrows his guy incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 91, the intended receiver on the play. An effort was made. How's my mic levels? Are coming in good? My light levels are too low. <laughs> okay, how about now? Catch! It's a gain. I'm as sick as a dog. This better not be my big die of laughter. Man, left is Have I uh have have I got a surprise for you later? I looked ahead. <laughs> Puffy throws left side. Oh went for the ball but whiffed! Touchdown San Antonio! McAllister lights it up. Parker comes in for the kick. Line. No foot, no foot. Parker on the kick. The kick is good. is good. That's McAllister to Brady on a 13-yard pass. San Antonio. Again, we're featuring the quiet favorite. 7-0. San Antonio isn't a flashy team. They just win games. They just they're effective. They just win games. Wayne Brady? Not Wayne Brady. Not Cortez Brady either, as far as I know. That is... Ronald McAllister, Josh Bryant. Receiving. That is Stephen Brady. Steve Brady. Give the ball to Steve Brady.
kick is away. Floats up in the air a little bit. Little extra hang time or backspin to about the seven yard line. Defensive specialist Stephen Brady for the odds of Vincent. Yeah, they play both sides of the ball. Indoor football, not as tiring as regular football. Ball on the seven yard line. Not Cortez Brady. The throw! Come on, come on! Fumble! Scoop! Touchdown! <laughs> Just like that! This game will turn on a penny! Was trying to tuck the ball but got a jar loose! Coffee cops it up! Welcome to Coffee Town Forest! Clears a path! Makes a trail! Touchdown San Antonio about to make it a two score lead. Emotional damage. You got that right. <laughs> Kick is good. A four yard fumble return by Forrest on the scoop six. San Antonio with a 14 nothing lead. We might have to bring out the horses again. There is a, yes, and they, keep in mind, there is an unhealthy, a, a carcinogen amount of football left to play. <laughs> a Surgeon General's warning amount of football left to play. Hello, J Log. Hey, hi, 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 hello. Got our usual people in the group here. Kick his way. Arker floats that one into the secret spot. And if you want to see what's hiding in your closet, Lonely Fans with our new Lonely Fans. Catch the spread all football season long at Lonely Fans. That begs the question, is please stop giving me the Dutch angle. Lonely Fans. Throws. Uh, sheltered on the throw. That's a completion. Nothing too crazy. That's cute. I mean, yeah. What's her credit score? Gain of eight on the play. At a karaoke night last night where I got a bunch of old ladies dancing and I asked, one of them came up to me and I asked her how much was in her Vanguard account. Hey. What's her credit score as the old busted? The new hotness is, hey, what's in your Vanguard account? Shelton on the throw. That's a catch and a first down depending on where they mark it for forward progress. Shelton with three in a row. Hey, oh, that's fine. Five yard gain on the play. First and ten. Ball on the seventeen yard line. Ten seconds to go. Heads headphones, please. Oops. Ten. Sorry. No, oh, you're fine. Yeah. Intercepted! <laughs> Woods! Forest! Trees! Branch! A piss bush! We don't want to... How many eco terrorists do you have on defense? <laughs> Forrest had the scoop six. Woods has the interception. San Antonio at three seconds to go. The throw on a screen pass. And that's a good gain, and that's going to bring it to the end of the first quarter. San Antonio running away with this early. Clamping down on the defense. 14-0. Heading directly into the second quarter. And again, there is a giant Gonzalez versus Undertaker at SummerSlam 93. Amount of football. Hello. Is it me you're for? Yeah. Uh -huh. That is swatted away incomplete. There is a Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels amount of football remaining. Well, football remaining. Nah, fam. That's the championship game. Well, I mean, it depends on which Sean uh, Brett mentor you're talking about. <laughs> if it's WrestleMania hit the 12th, then yeah, it's a long ass time. If it's Summer Slam, Survivor Series 97, then not that long. <laughs> yeah, it's not that long. It's it's a, it's a Montreal screwdriver amount amount of football. That's that's like one minute to go. That's like hurry up shrimp. Okay, like, wow. Six pack Armageddon Hell in a Cell. No, that's me anytime I watch a Pittsburgh Salad Fries game. Let's not talk about them this week. Let's give them a break. <laughs> Grandma's post-divorce glamour shots. Oh, with her and the, the lens flares looking over the bare shoulder? Hell yeah. Parker will come in for the kicks. Chance for San Antonio to score more points. 
That kick is good. 31-yard field goal by Parker slows down the pace of the game a little bit. 17-0 leads all San Antonio thus far. And the kick is away. Wasted. <laughs> injured player down on the field. Calvin Martin injured on the play. <laughs> uh, he lost all of his weapons. He's got to respawn at the hospital. Uh, they took half of his money. They'll start the ah. the line. First and ten. Incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. It was a plate of nachos that spilled. The intended receiver on the play. Second attempt. Nachos. I'm getting my cheese up in the air. To throw. That's, uh, I guess, a completion. A hard two, two yards. Kent on the reception. If we can't follow progress. It's three. It's a three-yard gain. Third and seven. Wait, third and all seven. Again, line. all San Antonio thus far. And the throw. Completion to about the 15-yard line, and you might have to go for it here. Aristigu makes the reception. Five-yard gain on the play. There's a prepackaged rolling meat tube of 7-Eleven. A football remains to be played. On a fourth down, they throw. Catch! Hit! Holds on! First down! Well, he just popped right back up after the hit. Take a look at that one more time. Bang! Gas station meat? Not at Slop Mart. We don't sell no gas here at Slop Mart. It's where Slop and a Night brought to you by Slop Mart. It's where America shops. Beautiful, beautiful hit. That holds on to it. Keeps his composure. First down at midfield for Boston. On the reception. Nine yards. It's your America's choice. All no gas, all bricks. Special. <laughs> Yes, with their new dating app called All Breaks No Ass. No, that's just the oil change section in the back. That ball goes incomplete. Incomplete pass. Thanks to everyone for the jukebox sound effects and the bits. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Second attempt. Ball on the 24 yard line. It's the little things that add up to the big things. That stack of decks, stack of dicks you call a neck. Number 97 with the reception. And that little thing on resulted in a loss. Yeah, this is the only uh, this is the only sports league where telling you that your team is shit will not get you suspended. I'm looking at you, Orioles. Hi. The throw. Next up, throws. That's a screen pass that did a whole buttload of nothing. Some momentum carries him out, so that brings it to a fourth down. Ball's near midfield. You have to go for it. Nope, they're going to kick it. Arden will come in for the for the deep kick. Kick is down for Arden. That is good! 41-yard field goal by Arden. And Boston on the board, 17-3. Your team is shit. Yoy and double yoy. He can hit a 41-yarder, but he misses the easy kick. It's the glasses. See, it's the glasses. <laughs> and the kick is away. 
those high lofty kicks that finds their way into the secret spot. And if you want to find her way into your secret spot, Lonely Fans, big titty Canadian girls with nice butts. I need to clear out my search history. You can do that at, with using NerdVPN. The protection you need at NerdVPN. Double coverage. Ooh. That was all the coverage you needed there for NerdVPN. After the pass goes incomplete. Yes, NerdVPN where you can disguise your IP address to get luck in the Pornhub and tell Governor Yunkin to suck it. Shoot week. Anyways. The throw. That's confidence booster. It's about five yard gain. Ryan with the reception, five-yard gain on the play. Ask me about that sometime. Anyways, no, not my porn history. No, 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 that's it. There's that hole that I keep digging. Gonna fill it up and swim in it. The Callister, and that's a catch and a, catch and a fourth down. Brings it to the one-minute warning. What are you gonna fill that hole with, caveman? Okay, we gonna fill oh, water? Five yard uh, call the it the water. thirst trap. <laughs> <laughs> hurry, up, hurry, up, hurry up, shrimp. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, shrimp. And that brought to you by Hurry Up Shrimp, freeze dried shrimp. Uh, add water, put that in my giant pool, and fill it with freeze dried shrimp. Get yourself a first down on top of that, too. Where's the goddamn graphic? Ah, I forgot to update this. Ah, there it is, shit. Alphabetical would have been better. Hurry up, shrimp. Now available in pool water. <laughs> First and ten. The throw. Catch. Breaks tackles. Touchdown San Antonio. <laughs> Touchdown. Probably a tree guy. Oh, we're going to find out. Came in struggling with graphics like I do my library sound class. I have to find the clip art on the CD. <laughs> <laughs> it's on here somewhere. <laughs> do you drive them? The <laughs> good. McAllister to George of the jungle. Damn it. <laughs> What's it with all you and you tr the freaking tree people? There's no trees in San Antonio. There's an Alamo and there's an Alamode. I want answers. We have a skunk advisory out as it's a 21 point lead. Largest comeback ever in XILF history is 24 points, which was accomplished earlier this year by the I believe. Whoa! Oh boy! Calvin Martin is sat on his car keys again. That looked bad. That looked all kinds of bad. Yep. For the sake of Theismann, we're not gonna we're not gonna reshow it. First and ten. Ball on the eleven yard line. Cat's ass cafe. You forgot that one, Fluff. Throws over the middle. Catch and a first down. Boston calls time. Against these beans. Clash of Legends Saga was bought by a, a Chinese conglomerate. As in a giant blob. To throw. Good protection. Touchdown, Boston! That's a good way to get some points right before the half. Flash of Legends Sligo went bankrupt before World Title Loans. Yes, because World Title Loans has money now and pays for it later. Call time with nine seconds to go. Firstly, I'd run out the clock and just kick the field goal. Uh, what do I know? I'm just the owner of this league. Yeah, I sure own extra point. There you go. Arden for the kick. The extra kick is good. Is good. Shelton to Rhino Rhea. Star player, 13 yard pass, 24 to 10. With eight seconds to go before the half. 
And Boston will kick it away as regular. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if they they should. I just got I have this feeling that they just should have just let the time run out and then just kick the kick the points and bring it to halftime. But I guess we're going to get ourselves another sponsorship for Lonely Fans, of course. Get that girl back up here. Get that buffalo chicken dip. Hey! She's got a good T to G ratio. Lonely Fans! That's a tooth to, tooth to gum ratio. Ryan still running. First down, San Antonio. And that just might be to pad the stats before half. It is. Uh, there's a question. Has there ever been a Mandela effect in uh, the XILF? No, but I have drank myself a lot. And the Blue Girls in the skirts are out on the field. That's good. I miss these girls. Nice, nice calm dancing, not distracting you from the god-awful football that we've been having the last two times that we've been subject to a violation at the Geneva Convention. 24-10, to 10, the San Antonio Gordillas out, uh, out ahead, and they have over 100 yards of offense, 91 yards passing, 16 yards of rushing, most of it coming from that last play. Uh, again, San Antonio controlling it. The tempo with those two takeaways, the fumble, the scoop six, the scoop six fumble, and then also the interception. Uh, less on the time of possession, but again, San Antonio takes its opportunities, makes it happen. Lionel McAllister is uh, first half thus far, 7 of 12, 90, 91 yards, two touchdowns, with a very good quarterback rating of 121.9. Uh, Marty Shelton. Uh, who is also the uh, uh, the backup for the Boston Jelly Beans? Ten of thirteen, eighty yards, one touchdown, one interception. He's doing okay. Just had a string of luck with the the fumble and a uh, string of bad luck with the fumble and the interception. But outside of that, uh, we'll see what happens. The cow to Brady, and then the scoop six by Forrest to make it fourteen to ten. Thirty-one yard field goal by Parker makes it seventeen to ten. Boston gets on the board with a field goal by Arden. Uh, McAllister to George and Shelton to Rhino Rhea towards the end of the half to make it 24 to 10. Game number two of our doubleheader tonight. We will be seeing the Alaska Pipeline versus the Kingston Punishers. In between games one and two tonight, we'll be simulating our remaining games that we have. And then also at the conclusion of game number two, we're going to let you know which teams are going to be playing for next week. And I have a surprise for you. We'll find out at the end of game two. Let's get into it. And San Antonio will be getting the ball up by 14. In the doldrums, the food coma of football, the third quarter. Next week has one game. It's only going to be 15-minute quarters. No and no. <laughs> no and no. The kick is away. And again, perf plantically, planting it perfectly right between the boobs. Lonely fans. First and ten. Ball on the five yard line. And a throw. Screen pass. Fumble! Out of bounds. But it's out of bounds. So it's a two yard loss. Still technically ruled a fumble. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. <laughs> second and twelve. He's down to a second and twelve. McAllister, deep ball. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Impales his own dude on the board. <laughs> Incomplete. Owie, ow, and. Goofied. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that did not feel good. 
That's not an ambulance pass, that was a pike pass. <laughs> oh, that'll, that'll upset your stomach. Worse than, a, than eating two taco salads back to back. Third and 12. Ball on the three yard. That'll wreck your Howard sternum. Bubba boy. Swatted down, incomplete. Boston holds. Incomplete pass. Oh, he got it all right, says Joe. Yeah. And Parker will be coming in for the kick to boot away as best you can. How is he still alive? It's the main question. It's a virtual character. Kick taken to about the five and a half yard line. Boston's on a good return. Breaking tackles. Almost another kick six. And McAllister's injured on the play. No. Everything's coming up, Boston. Oh, God. And nothing can go wrong. Oh, no, it all went wrong. It's true. First and goal. Ball <laughs> on the eight yard line. Everything's coming up hell, Boston. No hell was my last team. With a beautiful opportunity. Shelton throws wide open touchdown Boston Oh, it's the body bag game over again. Yeah, how's Calvin Martin still doing? Arden will come in for the kick Shelton lines up That kick is good. Shelton to Rhino Rhea again. Star wide receiver Rhino Rhea with his sec with their second touchdown completion of the night. 24 to 17. Boston is creeping back. The alleged perpetual underdogs that is Boston. And the kick is away. Off the netting. Oh! Kickoff return 12. Yep. Is his twin brother Dio Rea? Put it in the dumb draft names list. Put it in the list. Uh, slot mark. <laughs> that dude got beaned. Diamond Rhea. Ball on the 12 yard line. Gonna throw to a whole lot of nothing incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number Ooh, is our backup. The intended receiver on the play. We're gonna find out who the backup is. I was <laughs> Calster doing. Backup right now is to be determined for Lionel McAllister. Kareem Barry is the backup. Kareem Barry. Hey, is he a sopapila? Kareem Barry is swatted down incomplete. That's over two on the night. Kareem Abdul Jabari. Kareem Daddy. Third and ten. Ball on the twelve yard line. Kareem Pie. Kareem De La Creme. Ow! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Slot Mart, where are America's shops? South America's choice. Whipped cream filled sponge cakes right at the front of the store. Oh, Lord. At Slot Mart, where are America's shops? Who pissed in Boston cereal? Parker will come in for the kick. Boston's defense had their slap Wheaties. Jumps in the air. Boston pissed its own cereal to piss themselves off.
First and ten. Ball on the 12 yard line. Gonna throw. Shelton with protection. That's a completion for a gain. That is six in a row. We got a little bit of a Warner watch here for Shelton. Gain of eight on the play. You hit six in a row, that's usually when the Warner watch kicks in. Shelton. That puts a stop. Puts a stop to it incomplete. I can't remember if it was it was either Kurt Warner or was it T. Shaw that holds the record for most streak, uh, most consecutive completions. We usually say it was Kurt Warner, but I felt that that record got broken. Run play. That's, the run the run play stuff has been pretty quiet tonight. That's a, a positive gain. At least on Boston side of the ball. Oh yeah, Boston, Boston side. Fourth and two for Boston. Trailing by a touchdown. Playoffs is London Brooks. Ah, that's right. Sweep. Charges forward, gets the first down. Big man across. Bryant checks up his fifth. Strickland with the carry. Gain of two on the play. Your fat asses! First Love and it. ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. And we'll throw again. Fresh set of downs, and it's incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 85, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. So the second and 10 we go. Boston still moving the ball. Boston trying to make it a comeback. At one point, we're trailing by 20. One point, we're trailing by 21 points. Taco Bell's cannon, indeed. That's for a gain. Number 97 makes the reception. One yard gain on the play. You need to include Harry Jazz next year. Put it in the dumb draft names list. The throw. Catch. Smacked around a bit, but it's still a gain. It is going to bring up a fourth down. On the reception. One yard gain on the oh, decisions, decisions. Do you go for it? You're right at midfield. You're going to go for it. Fourth and seven. Or are they going to run out the clock and then move the other way? Oh, they're going to go for one last play. That is well short of the first down. It's going to bring it to the end of the third quarter. 24 to 17. San Antonio will start the quarter. Uh, looks like yep. the cows are back. Not for long. Oh, and he immediately just hit. Pass goes incomplete. San Antonio scoreless in this half. Thank you, Second J-Log, for the ten. stat. Ball on the 23-yard line. World title loads with the... Uh, that was not a questionable decision. That was not a questionable decision. Deep ball! Catch and a touchdown, San Antonio! McAllister's back, baby. Let me tell everyone. Let me get a prepaid. Hello? A little message. Your football phone is ass. It ain't Sports Illustrated brand. All they go. I see no problem with that. I remember that ad. That was an expensive football. I had to buy like five years of Sports Illustrated to get the fin. That kick is good. McAllister to McComas. 27 yard pass. 31 to 17. With still an edge and lead a live sex celebration worth of football still to play.
Kick is away. Trickles off the back. Into the... Yeah, trickles off the back. Only fans. Da -da 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 -da. It's a still camera in an expensive hotel. <laughs> it's not that... It's not that... It's just, uh. Anybody can buy a ring light. Even the schmuck like me. Catch! First down. Lopez, with the 17 yard gain for Boston. Oh. Wrong button. Wrong button. I think this one's gonna be a fun edit. You got it. <laughs> yeah, you're about right. A throw. Fumble! Scoop! Ball game! Second scoop! Six of the night! Again. Looks like we're calling the shots now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let me hit. Come on, yeah. That's all legal. Calster comes in for the hold. Parker for the kick. Thirty-eight to seventeen. The defensive stop when they need it. Carrier on the 16-yard fumble return to seal it. 21 points in three and a half minutes. Crazier shit has happened in this league. But even this game has its limits. Or does it? Bounces off the lower part of the netting. Boston on the return. Aye! Ooh. Hit him with a flying clothesline. Kickoff Hit him with a flying clothesline. Martin on the return. Calvin Martin back into the game. After being the injured run. twice. Seven yard line. First and ten. Shelton and Boston need to score points and score points quickly if they're going to have a chance. That's out of bounds. Foot was not down. The was in mid-air when he fell over the board, so it's an incompletion. One more look at that catch. Yep, went up to leap for it. No f Oh, 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 wait, hold on. Ah, uh, well, he, I, he hit the out. He was on the line. Yeah, he was on the line. So yeah, definitely out of bounds. Second and ten. Ball Second ball down. Screen yard. pass. Ah! He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, baby on the ground. Is that what I hear? You want your mommy? You want your mommy? Ah, I call. Come on, man. Come on, leave him alone. Coffee and Woods. He's too crazy. Third and seven. Third and seven for Boston. The throw. Catching a first down for Boston. Boston looking to make this at least respectable. Perry makes the reception. 13 yard gain on the play. First and 10. Ball on the 22 yard line. Going to throw again. Pressure got to him. Incomplete. The clock will continue to move. Incomplete pass, number 85, the intended receiver on the play. These are 28 people here tonight. This is an entire bar filled of people, if you think about it. Watching this game. Pump faked and sacked. Figgins, number 69. Nice. Comes in for the sack.
More police involved than CCW. Third and 14 on the throw. Catch is made. I think he may have got back to the line of scrimmage. We are gain, and this might be ball game for Boston. Fourth and 10. They'll have to go for it in a minute 45 to go, trailing by 21. And Boston will call time to think it over. Fourth and 10. Ball on the 22-yard So remained at the time when Maffey raided during the South Friars game. Yeah, that was uh, Pittsburgh-Helsinki, too. Great game to raid. Throws, catch, and a first down for Boston. That is the eighth first down of the night for the Boston Jelly Beans. He raided a few times. Yeah, he's raided. Yeah, he's raided. He usually does the Sunday night stuff, so that's that's usually his MO. Yep. First and ten. Ball on the eleven yard line. To throw. Go, go. Right side. A little bit of real estate. That's a completion. Once he scraped them up off the ground, he'll be fine. Eventually. Well, we'll find him. He's somewhere in there. He could be Tijuana's problem at this point. Second and six. Ball on the six yard line. Time ticking down for Boston. This is going to be a case of too little, too late. But make it respectable. Or get sacked. Or get It'll, sacked. Or get sacked. <laughs> to bring it to the one minute warning. Figgins comes in on an attempted tackle on his own teammate. The Forest Coffee Figgins. Third and nine. Third and nine for Boston at the one minute warning. They will throw. Intercepted. That's ball game. That's your ball game. Yeah. We can't let it grow with this right. We yeah. need to stop them now. Do you hear okay. what I'm saying? Yes, Let's go. First and ten. Spencer Forrest will get player of the game honors. He had the scoops uh the scoop six for uh San Antonio will get his stat lines in a moment. And San Antonio is gonna run this out. That ball May have got past the line of scrimmage. Does not look like it. I think we've got an entire game without a single LO run play. No gain on the play. We have. Second and ten. Ball on the eight yard line. Have a nice cup of Figgins Forest coffee. Goes down like a tree. Run play. Oh. Breaking tackles. Oh, run, 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 Let's. Touchdown. What have you done? <laughs> Stop! He's already dead! That's Lynchy Dorado! Lynchy Dorado! With an OMG run play! Lychee Dorado! Thirty-four seconds and counting. The, the kick is good. A 42-yard run by Lychee Dorado. Pads the stats, making it now 45-17. to 17. This Hola, Black Shaded! <laughs> Hola, Black Shaded! I'm telling you, San Antonio is one of those teams. They're quiet. They're just they're well-balanced, but you got to look out for them. It's that Forrest, the Forrest, Forrest Figgins coffee combination. I can at least say the curse is over. We finally won a game on a live stream. Hey, how about that? Let's delay this game a little bit more with Lonely Fans. 
What is this? Hypno porn? Is that a magic First eye booby poster? No. So many nipples. Oh, okay. And this is going to be for extra scrimmage time. As we're going to throw the ball into the stands incomplete. They have to call timeout because, again, if the ball leaves the sideboards, the clock would continue to move. Second and ten. Ball on the five yard line. Throws does nothing. Let's delay the let's delay this more. Incomplete pass. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the five yard line. To throw again. Left. Oh God, this game is still happening. 24 seconds. The intended receiver on the play. Somebody left the surrender index at home. Boston's <laughs> gonna kick it. Well short. San Antonio returns a little bit to 17 seconds left in the game. The game is still on. The game is still going. Well, they allow us to run out the clock this time. Is San Antonio going to get the Dorado going and score another touchdown? 17 seconds to go. San Antonio up by a mass of 28 points. We were so close. We will almost win an entire game without it. And two in a row. <laughs> this is the game that does it. Third and 16, son. <laughs> gonna hand it off to the Rado, boy. He's gonna break a tackle, boy. He's gonna gain five yards, boy. It's fourth down. He almost had the punt. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Three, two, one, ball game. 45 17. There's your final. Spencer Force will get player of the game honors. The San Antonio or Gorditas expand their lead in their division. Still tops 45 to 17. Hachalupa. Hachalupa. Delicious. Let's get those points. 87% of you put big money on the Gorditas, including 5,000 points by Joe Lex. The High Roller! High Roller Joe! The real rockin' High Roller. And he's gonna get those points. Gorditas will get the win. 45 to 17. Even on the, uh, the stat lines for offensive yardage. However, rushing yards... 57 yards rushing, including a late garbage time 42 yard scamper by Lychee and Dorado. Four takeaways, the difference maker. Marty Shelton for the Boston Jelly Beans, 21 of 32, 156 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Lionel McAllister with a solid game, 8 of 16, 118 yards, three touchdowns in the air. Uh, Lychee and Dorado with a 47 yard scant 47 yards of total rushing. But player of the game honors will go to Spencer Forrest, two tackles, one sack. And the four yard scoop six that got the got the ball rolling. And 
as that man will get player of the game honors to the San Antonio Gorditas. Gorditas putting up 21 points in the fourth quarter. Blanking Boston. Getting the Boston blanked beans. It was 24 to 10 at the end of the at the end of the first half, and then things slowed down a little bit in the third quarter. Eight yard pass, Shelton to Ryan Aria, Calcer to Comas, and then Carrier with the game sealing 16 yard fumble recovery, and a 42 yard punk run by uh, Lychee and Dorado. 45 to 17, the San Antonio Gorditas get the win. Jai Guy, congratulations on the win. Much appreciated. Thank you, Caveman. Hey, so hey. That's actually what we wanted on these live streams. Broke the curse. Broke the curse of losing on streams. Well, let's see if I can break the curse of making it, of making it to the championship game and actually winning it this time. Yeah, t t twice the bridesmaid, never the bride. And it wasn't even close to book two times I was the bridesmaid. <laughs> You weren't, you weren't, you were in the wedding party, but it's just like, oh, yeah, we'll just get her to, you know, get to go get the drinks and this thing, whatever, and just, just passed out by like nine. <laughs>